Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, and this is just a quick reading. It's a crappy day out here in New England. It's snowing actually, so I figured good time to do a reading. Uh, for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared uh, my videos, thank you so much. It's so appreciated. So, this is going to be a general reading. Um, it applies to anyone and everyone, and... Um, if it does resonate with you, great. If, do if it doesn't, then that's okay too. So let's see what's in store. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. And this is like being trapped in your head. Imprisoned. You're thinking about something over and over and over again in your mind. Just remember, if you can take one of those swords and turn a negative into a positive thought, the rest of the swords will fall. So, what we have as a signifier in this Celtic cross is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine being close to a ten, a close uh, ten being a completion. And this is feeling very content with everything that you have, everything that you find valuable. You seem comfortable at home, kids are great. You know, you're not worried for anything or want anything. Hey, she went out and bought a falcon. It's a great card. So, what is crossing you to help or hinder you? We have the lovers. Major Arcana. And other than the obvious meaning of having that soulmate connection, that deep soul intertwine, finish your sentences type of relationship. It also means decisions. So we'll see how that helps or hinders here. So in the foundation, we have the King of Cups. And Cups being the emotion, he is wearing his heart on his sleeve, but you'd never know it because he keeps his uh, emotions well-tempered, even keeled. He's highly intuitive. He can speak fluent, fluently from the heart. Okay, in the foundation. What we have crowning the reading is the Knight of Swords. Swords being the exact opposite of the water sign. And he's the fastest knight out of all of them. Got the part in my phone. Sorry. But like I was saying, he's the fastest knight out of all of them. He comes in so swift. With communications. With clarity. With truth. So maybe he's here to shed some light on something. Because what I see is somebody being totally content, fulfilled, perhaps with the King of Cups, not wanting for anything. So I wonder what the Eight of Swords is about. Okay, continuing. We have, in your past, we have Temperance. And she's all about balance. Keeping even keel. She's halfway in water. She's halfway out of water. Okay. 
Okay. Well, if you have a great relationship going on, then you would be balanced. You'd feel balanced, right? Hmm. Going in to the future, we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is all about retreat. Taking that step back, assess the situation, reevaluate. Sorry, again, my phone. And that's going into your future. So, how the outside world sees you. Great card, Major Arcana, the sun. And it doesn't get any better than the sun. The sun makes everything grow. This could be in the spotlight. Shining like the sun. And if you're happy in a relationship, I could see why people would be like, Oh, wow, she's, she gets everything she wants. Or he, doesn't matter. Now, in the environment, we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is all about nostalgia. Thinking about great times, you know, back when you were a kid, or in a relationship, or a career, or something. Anything in your past that you think fondly of. Okay, I still don't see the reason for this energy. Everything looks great. You're shining like the sun. In your hopes and in your fears, you have the six of wands. Excuse me, six of swords. And this is the moving away to Kama Waters card. Those six swords in the boat, those are all our thoughts. What it seems to me is that somebody has a great relationship, whether that's work, an intimate partner, a business, career, whatever, and things are going so great. Are you afraid that someone's going to leave you? That maybe all of this is too good to be true? That explains this. Because there's absolutely nothing negative here. Nothing. You'll have some truth. You'll have some clarity. His truth is the light at the end of his sword. Perhaps you get a great guy or a great gal at home that supports you in every single way. Props to you. Maybe that's, it's that deep connection that you've never felt with anybody else before. And someone values you and treasures you for it. And that's why they look at you like you're the sun. Whoever this reading is for, I just want to let you know, there is absolutely nothing to fear because your outcome card is the wheel of fortune, upright. Dang! Good karma. Things turning around, things going your way. Good opportunities. 
Whoever this reading is for, they got it all going on. They have support. And they have somebody who absolutely thinks the world of them. So don't fear. Don't fear. Get out of your head. They're not going anywhere. They're sticking right with you. So that's what I have. Um, folks, keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. It's been absolutely wonderful, all the feedback. And I will be back here in mid-April. Take care.